Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to look at document tabs in mobile. First, I just wanted to show what desktop looked like. Here, I already have three levels. Level one here, you can see that I have it set where it's pageless, so you can put one of those cover images. And wanted to show you can use GIFs. Now, you can see this is the actual image, and this is what's showing. So it doesn't quite fit. I'm going to try to work on finding what like the best information or the best scaling that it is for. But at least if you want to get started on it, it's a, a 1920 by 480. This is the first one and you can have another document tab here. I did another page list and I had it as like a black background. So kind of the night mode because still on desktop, there is no night mode or dark mode which is a bummer. But in any case, this is a way you can do that if you want. You can still add subtabs into level three. Now here, you actually cannot add another subtab level, but this is what this all looks like. If you go to any of these and do control P for print, you can see here that you can actually print it out. It's just the one page. If you wanted to do this one, control P, and it's there. And in this one's in dark mode, so really don't do that. The other thing too, if you want to print every single page you can right click whatever document open with preview and then i'll kind of show that print preview and it'll actually show each tab as a page kind of as a tab header page then the tab levels so here's level one gifs won't be printed of course which makes sense or gifs whichever and then the next ones this since this one is in that light mode it actually is that lighter font as well. And you can see here, the background is actually white instead of black. Here's level three. Well, that one too. I'm not really sure why that one is. It's probably from some defaults. Interesting. In any case, you go there. I guess just don't change and mess with your defaults. And then finally, level three. And all of those would be included. And that's how you do it with your desktop. So let's take a look at mobile. All right, so here is on a phone. You can see here that the top is a lot different, but down there you can kind of see, just goes right into the middle, so you can kind of get an understanding of what that tab looks like. You can see here that you can actually scroll through to the different ones. Here, this is in the night mode, and you can see that it does change. My settings are in light theme, so if I switch that to off, it actually just changes that one, but leaves this basically as it was. And then here's level three. So the other new thing with this is you can actually go to document tabs. You can see here, you can just go through the tabs and you can add a new tab. Unfortunately though, when you do that, it's just always the same one there and you can't actually add any sort of sub tab. You can't really drag and move it like I would have expected. And so hopefully at some point you can add like sub tabs, but you can add them, you can rename them you can see emojis, but you cannot add those like emojis to those ones. So here, document four, I'll rename it to phone tab. So I did this one on a phone. Hello, I can do whatever. I can even view back in light theme and it'll be there. So world, it's done. Here, you can also do share and export. And if you print, you can see here, it actually shows the layout as it did when we were in Drive on a desktop. So it shows all the pages. Here you can actually, if you wanted to share them, go to this print and you can like ch select which ones you want. So maybe you don't want those header ones, you know, entirely up to you. And if you do ever want to actually share it, you can push the share button up there and you could save it or send it to someone that you want it to. It is a little different on mobile, but you can at least add tabs now, whereas earlier um, you were not able to do that. So it is updating. Now quickly, we're gonna switch over to an iPad and we're gonna take a look. It's pretty similar to the phone version or the mobile where it is the app. Um, the kind of top header image actually looks better. I think this is almost the closest scale, even more so than the desktop surprisingly, but it still works. GIF still works, which is cool. 
you have that right there on the side where you can get to the document tabs. You can see the emojis, but like the phone, you are only able to rename, delete, or copy the link. You are not able to like drag them and make sub tabs, unfortunately. You are, like I said, able to make new ones. You can see the add tab at the bottom there, and then you can rename it like tablet tab. And then you can write, hello world, this is my tablet. You can push the X there if you don't want to have that and have a little more um, screen focused on the document. You can like that, show in light theme or dark theme depending on your tablet's settings. And you can also do the share and export. And this is pretty much the same as it was on the mobile. And that is where it'll show everything. It'll have those tabs as a header page. And it is your, you, you know, you can go through and show which pages you want with the range to print, or you can push the share button and then share that as like a PDF essentially. So pretty much the same as the phone, just a little bigger. Um, and then it has that there, the tabs over here. You can also go to the document tabs to show that sidebar. It's a nice update. I mean, it's been out for a little bit here, but at one point you weren't able to actually add tabs. So that's nice, but hopefully at some point you'll be able to drag and drop them in like the desktop version. I think that just makes sense to be able to do that. And for me, when I use tabs, it, I think it's really important to be able to have kind of that sub tab organizational like method. Hopefully this helps you with being able to share, print, and kind of just see the different limitations of the mobile app using document tabs. If you have any questions or comments on things, you can send that and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye now.